Okay, in this lesson we're going to do the clone tool, which is a great way to replace bad pixels with good pixels. So I'm going to begin by dragging my original layer to the new layer icon, which is actually going to make a duplicate. And I'm going to double click this and name it so that I can get the marks so I can show the before and after once I'm finished. I'm going to zoom in. This isn't the greatest picture but um, it should help us to improve the picture. It's got a little bit of uh, wear and tear. So say we're going to sell this house, we want to improve the picture, we can fix it up for the internet. So we're going to get the clone stamp, not the pattern stamp, but the clone stamp. And we're going to begin by zooming in and with that clone stamp selected, um, what's important is that you get um, a nice hard brush. If you use a soft brush, it's gonna just blur the picture and that's not gonna look like it's been altered, which is not good. And my opacity, I'm gonna keep it about 50 right now. Um, and what you need to do is match the value. So I wanna replace this pixel with the, um, or these pixels with the doorbell. So the similar value would be maybe here. So I'm going to hit the alt button and click my mouse once to target those pixels. And then I'm just going to very quickly go over them. So what you're basically doing is saying, um, here are the good pixels, and then you cover the bad pixels with it. Um, now, for something like this where the value might be a bit funny, just because it's hard to find enough of the same value, I'm going to reduce the opacity, and that way I can much more easily uh, feather my work. So it's going to take a lot more to get rid of it, a lot more work on my behalf, but I think I'll get more natural looking results, which I always think that a more natural result is worth the effort. So I am selecting pixels from below and above as there's not much room beside. And what I'm gonna do is, I think it's probably a little bit lighter down here. So afterwards, I'm gonna go get some pixels from above that should be darker. And I'm gonna try to blend those together. So get some darker pixels. I don't know what that is. So I have to keep going back to where my target is a good pixels um, because as you can see that target starts to follow me the more I move my mouse around. And it may take a little while, but I should be able to get rid of it almost completely. And then it's just about smoothing out that paint so it doesn't look like anything was done to it. And then zooming out. So zooming out is probably going to be your best indicator if you've done a decent job. Um, I'm going to bring this back up to about 50. And I'm going to fix up the concrete now. So selecting good pixels by clicking and holding Alt and then going over them to basically eliminate whatever this interesting stuff in the concrete is. So you're going to have to keep reselecting good pixels by hitting Alt. And if you're not careful, you can accidentally duplicate bad pixels. So say I accidentally targeted these pixels, I would make the damage twice. Um, so what you want to make sure that you're always doing is only selecting good pixels. And then fading them out by blending them in. Um, get rid of whatever this is. So you're just trying to improve it. I'm not gonna be able to fix them up perfectly, but I think the before and the after should be pretty good. Um, the other thing I'm gonna do is sort of fill in this garden area that's looking a little uh, lackluster. So I'm gonna make my brush a bit bigger, and then I'm just gonna fill this in with better foliage here so that it looks more full. And I could continue, I could go in and take out these, these numbers so that people can't tell where I live. Um, but basically you can see the before and the after. It's a subtle improvement, but it definitely does overall uh, make the house look better.